Okay guys, Humans for Targets here, and I uh, just wanted to show you another gun I picked up the other day. Um, this is kind of a rarity, something I've never owned and I've never uh, handled before. So I took some notes down on some things that I want to explain about this gun, so I wouldn't forget. And, um, you know, hopefully have you knowing more about this gun than you did before when this video is done. So first off, I'll show you. There's no rounds in the chamber. It has been safety checked. This is the HK P7. Really a nice little gun. This gun was first made in 1979. At that time it was in West Germany. And uh, then when they no longer had the Iron Curtain, then they were stamped Germany, which this one is. These are no longer made. These were issued to the German police. It was their standard issue gun. There's a lot of things to this gun that I really like that I'm surprised never caught on with other firearms. Some really ingenious things that they did to this gun that I, I just was astounded when I started looking into these and as to uh, what they had to offer. First of all, the barrel in here is fixed to the frame. Um, this barrel never moves at all. There's no barrel lugs. The frame and the barrel is one piece. Steel comes up from the frame and has the barrel in there. Uh, you can't take the barrel out. A gunsmith could. Maybe if you had the right tools you could, but you can't just pull the barrel out. And uh, there's, a, there's a gas piston down here. I'll talk more about that later. That helps to uh, regulate the pressure when the round is fired. But with it having the barrel fixed to the frame, you get a very low bore axis, which is really a good thing. It helps you stay on target. See, the higher and heavier a slide gets off of the frame, the more topsy-turvy you are when you fire, the more unbalanced, uncontrolled it's going to be when you fire. The closer to, your, to the webbing of your hand that that barrel sits, and uh, the more low profile it is, the flatter this thing's going to shoot. Um, I have a couple of HK videos on my favorites list on my channel you might want to check out. It was from the HK company back in the early 80s. Gives you some good knowledge on this gun. Yeah, so uh, the second thing to the fixed barrel is, is it's basically like a mini version of shooting a bolt action rifle. The accuracy on this gun is said to be one of the top uh, most accurate 9mm that's ever been made. Because nothing moves. And I like they like when you get into Kimbers and things, they make them tight. They want it tighter, even though parts move. Um, it just needs to be tight, you know, so that uh, so that you get a more accurate shot. Well, when you chamber around in this, it's basically like chambering around into a bolt action rifle. This thing is going to hit where it's supposed to hit. It shoots flat. Um, let me see here. Um, what else that I want to cover? Grip angle was made to be natural, like if you were pointing your finger with a natural pointing grip, that's how this uh, grip handle was made, or the grip angle was made and it works really good. Um, casing extraction is another thing that is unique to this, to this gun, I don't know, maybe it's been used on others but I haven't heard of it. Uh, in the chamber, there's small flutes cut into the chamber where the bullet seats before it goes into where the rifling's at that allows pressure that's regulated by the piston to come back and uh, push the casing out. You do not need the extractor. The extractor will aid in extraction or if you want to extract one manually this will be what pulls it out. But on the video I have on my channel, on my favorites, you'll see they remove the extractor and they shoot this gun with no problems. They shoot about two or three mags with it. Because of those flutes in the chamber that allow the pressure to come back, it pushes the casing back onto the ejector back here, which pushes it out. You don't need your extractor. So that's just something else that I really thought was pretty ingenious about this gun. Um, and then to fire this gun, it's a little bit different than some other guns. Um, because uh, this is how you... This is your cocking lever right here. When you hold the gun like you're going to shoot naturally, it takes a little bit of pressure to push back, but once you push back, it just takes a it just takes a light grip to hold it there, and then now the gun's cocked and ready to fire. 
See the pin coming out of the back there? Now this gun's ready to fire. Okay. Now it can also work in reverse. If you're pulling this gun in a self-defense situation and you need to get this gun out quick uh, and, you, and you're pulling the gun and pulling the trigger, you can pull the trigger and then the cocking lever and the gun will still fire. Or you can pull them both at the same time. Another unique thing about this gun is this is one of the only guns that when you uh, load the magazine and chamber it, the gun has never been cocked. This gun is totally safe. You cannot fire around by pulling the trigger and you cannot fire around by pulling the, the cocking lever. Both have to be done. So when you chamber around into this, it's never been cocked yet. Even though around, even though around's chambered. It makes the gun a very, very safe um, design. No hammers, no hammer drops, no safeties, no levers, nothing to fool with on this gun. This gun is just uh, basically an easy, simple to use gun with a, with a great design. Here is the takedown button right here. You would push this in. All to take this down right now you would do, I'm not going to do it, but you would push this in, you pull back and up on the slide, and then when you pull back and up it comes forward right off the frame. That's all you have to do. You don't have to pull the trigger or anything to disassemble this gun. Um, let me see. Okay, another thing they did was uh, the engineers, when they first designed this, they figured that a lot of semi-autos at the time that had a reputation for jamming or not shooting right were due to flimsy or improperly made magazines. So they made the magazines double the thickness of what other brands use of steel. So it's a very sturdy when I first got this I was like wow this, these magazines look about like the sturdiest magazines I've ever seen and on the videos on my channel on my favorites you'll see them throw a concrete cinder block onto this on, on flat ground and then pick the magazine up without cutting the tape and shoot it through the gun no problem um, okay more on the, I want to talk about the gas piston this gas piston that's down right in here what it does is it regulates the pressure from the bullet when you fire it. Now what it does is it it slows the movement of the slide. When you fire a round, the round clears the barrel and it just a split second it holds before it allows the, the gun, the, the slide to come back to chamber another round which helps give you even a little bit more accuracy. Uh, this piston that regulates the gas from the fired round allows this slide to be very light and it also reduces your recoil to the lowest uh, felt recoil that you can have on this gun with it still functioning 100%. And you'll see when you see the guys shooting this um, on the videos. I mean, this gun, this is literally what it does when they shoot. About like this right here. I mean, it just looks like a toy when they're shooting it. And that bore axis is just so low to your hand. You know, you just, it's right there. No, none of this stuff, you know, no heavy, high 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 chunks of steel there to come back it's just it's a very well made design and I'm just surprised that some of the things that was in this didn't catch on before but uh, alright guys I'm almost out of time here and um, I don't know maybe I'll do another video to this uh, if there's some more that I missed that I wanted to talk about but if you have any questions about this gun or anything else just send me a message and I'll be happy to to help you out eventually I will get to shooting this and uh, when I do I'll put a video up and of course when I do shoot it and, and uh, when I keep rounds in there, guess what I'm going to keep in there? You guessed it. Same exact thing. <laughs> Ranger SXTs, baby. These are 9mm, 124 grain, plus P. Same exact thing as the Talons. All right, everyone. Until next time, keep your world safe. Humans for targets. And I'm out.